Hello and welcome to Autonauts vs Pirate Bots. My name's Tom, and today I am going to be playing through a brand new game, a brand new world in Autonauts vs Pirate Bots to give you a real taste of uh, what's to come. So let's not delay and start a brand new world, shall we? So I'm not 100% familiar. I have played Autonauts a little bit. I'm not super familiar with Autonauts vs Pirate Bots. I know there are pirate bots to be uh, to be fought, but I, I'm apart from that, I am brand new to this game. So as you see it, as we're going through, we're going to be experiencing it together. So uh, this seems like a, a decent seed of a level. So let's go in. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to expect. So this is going to be uh, quite interesting. Okay, so here we are on, on Rigel 7. Hey there, Chief Autonaut Keo here, streaming live from the Denki Quadrant with progress on my thriving settlement. Like and subscribe. And uh, that's a suitable tangent. If you like and <laughs> this video from Curve Games, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, following protocol, I've successfully programmed hundreds of worker bots to efficiently automate industries and take care of my growing folk community's needs. Ah, oh, decent. This looks like a, a nice little settlement here. Ah, I... Uh, this is fairly ominous. Aha. The titular pirate bots have come to attack and take uh, take the resources from this poor settlement. Oh my goodness, he's been kidnapped as well. Oh, they kidnapped the folk. Oh dear. Ah, and this is where we come in, presumably. Yeah, the Autonauts Defense Force. Here we are. Coming to help the... This poor settlement out. Captain's log, stardate 1234. Arrived safely at Rigel 7 settlement. Base camp obliterated. Commanding autonaut missing. Presumed kidnapped. Ditto folk population. Wish I brought a brolly. Uh, for our viewers who may be outside of the UK, a brolly is an umbrella. It's a colloquial term. Um... Remaining work worker bots appear functional. Others lightly recruited or recycled by pirate bots will endeavor to return Rigel, Seven's, uh, Rigel 7 settlement to its former glory ASAP. Oh, here he is. Dread pirate robot. Ah, I see. Come visit me fortress if ye dare. But first you'll need to dance with me swathes of scurvy knaves and me three best mates, so ye will. Okay. So... To basically liberate this uh, this settlement, we're going to have to fight back the pirate bots. And, uh, okay. Familiarize yourself with essential auto -noising. Yeah, it would actually be quite good to get a refresh on what exactly we're doing. Okay, so WSD, move around. That makes sense. Scroll wheel. So, yeah. So, if you've never seen auto -noughts before, because um, I have played the first game, this is essentially, um, you know, it's kind of like top-down, isometric, and you can obviously change the camera. You could have it completely top-down if you wanted. And then we can reset it. Brilliant. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do a bit of exploring. Start this up. Ooh. Some nice beach. Okay, new worlds explode. Uh, Left-click on destination and enter the shaded area. We need to discover basic tools and resources to get started. That sounds like a good place. Started. Oh, okay, now for the basics. Pick up one stone. Left click on objects. Yep. That makes sense. So we're pick that up. And then we can stow the stone in our backpack to keep our hands free to pick up other stuff. Which is also really useful. And then we can retrieve it back into our hands. Hold on. Alt and hover pointer over an object. So, okay. Here we go. And we can see in the bottom right hand corner here. Uh, some of the stuff that we can do with these objects. Interesting. A one stone to use a basic chopping tool and find a tree. Okay, we're going to have to try and chop down a tree with our bare hands and a stone. It's pretty ambitious, if I say so myself. Oh, but we did it. We don't need that stone right now. Right clicking the ground drops your objects. Awesome. Okay. So, oh, and we can stick skip steps of the tutorial if we need good we've got the basics thank goodness and now we can okay 
So, left click the clown. Now, I'm not sure on the optimal setup of what we're going to have to do here, so I'm just going to place that there for now. And then we'll close that. Click the parts needed. So, what do we need? We need two logs and two sticks. Okay. And there we go. We've got ourselves a simple workshop. Uh, we can build basic tools and parts. Lovely. Let's make a better chopping tool. Yeah, that'd be better than using my hands and a stone. Uh, yeah. So, we need one stone, one stick this crude axe. Collect the parts needed to make a crude axe. Right click on the... Yeah, cool. So we'll grab this stone from earlier. Drop that in there. And if you've played Autonauts before, you, this will probably seem pretty familiar. Like the basics are... Uh, you know, the basics are, are, are there because it's still the same sort of fundamentals of the game. So, you know, we still need to teach you the, the kind of the basic elements of this. And it's it's the same for, uh, for brand new players who come into Autonauts versus Pirate Bots, you don't have to have played Autonauts before. You can, you know, just come into this fresh and you um, you can be taught what to do by the tutorial. So here we go. Chop up into a uh, chopper plank to make poles. Okay, so we'll chop this plank down even further to make some poles. Nice. Hey. Those are the basics. There's a lot more to learn. That's what I'm here for. When you see a button on my face, click it so I can teach you important lessons. Time to get your hands dirty. Okay. Autonautopedia. Yeah, so the Autonautopedia, again, similar to Autonauts, has uh, kind of a whole list of things that you can do. Brilliant. And these are the basics which you need to set up like an effective camp in which you can fight back uh, the the pirate bots so let's take uh let's get automating autonauts program bots to automate systems i'm going to help you program a bot to do your job for you ah okay to do this your bot needs its own crude axe so let's make one i've got one crude axe but that's obviously mine so let's stow that away and we'll pick up some sticks or a stick pop that in here and i'm going to also need a stone so grab that, put that in there. Awesome. Oh, my stick didn't go in. There we go. Lovely. We've got a second one. And because we've inherited this settlement, there are already some bots about. So saves me from having to, to make them from scratch, uh, unlike the original auto bots, where you'd obviously make your bots from scratch as well. So pick up the crude axe and right-click on the bots, give it... Brilliant. Here you go. And now, we're going to program. Oh, I've picked him up by accident. Let me drop you down there. There we go. Got your crude axe ready. Uh, oh, let me get it in my hand. Yep. Press space to blow your whistle and get your bot's attention. Left click your bot to access its brain, which is currently empty, just like mine. Um, now, do exactly as I tell you. Click the record button. So, yeah, this is the... If you've never played Autonauts before, this is, like, the key stuff. So, with your bots, you can essentially program them to do, basically, macros. You can set up little uh, uh, things for them to do, chop down trees, plant seeds, things like that, and you record them, and then you kind of set them on their way, and they keep doing it um, endlessly. So, you can set up a whole automated process where the whole Autonauts name comes in. So, show your bot how to use a crude axe and chop down a tree. In your bot's brain, you can see a program instructions created by your actions. Exactly. So, if I go up to this tree with my axe, and I start chopping it down, he's obviously witnessing what I'm doing, he's seeing what I'm doing, and he's now kind of got these, um, the beginnings of a code in here. So, if I click, uh, so, you know, just to break this down, and find nearest tree in this space, which is like shown as a, this, this box, Move to target and then use held item. He is holding a crude axe. He's going to move to the trees in this in this area. And he's going to do it. And if I click this repeat, he's going to repeat forever and ever and ever. So yeah, once we click repeat, he is on his way and he's he's doing it. So great, your first, auto uh, <laughs> your first automation. Your bot won't stop unless its tool breaks or has no more targets in its search area. So yeah, he will go forever and ever and ever. And you can see he's already making quick work of all these trees and we're going to run out of trees pretty soon because he's going to cut them all down so now that we have a bot for chopping down trees let's automate more so we don't need to see what's in this bot's brain yeah we'll close that down 
For the next one, we need a crude spade. So yeah, the first, first we get a bot to chop down trees, and then we need a bot to plant trees. So for the spade, again, we need one stone and one stick. So I'm going to, uh, I'll tell you what, let's drop my crude axe. And then I'm going to pick up a stick. I'm going to stow that in my backpack. Uh, if I can. I should be able to. Yeah, there we go. And then I need a stone. Ah, this one. Oh, that's a stick. There's a stone. So I can carry these two items. And then I will pop them in here. One stone. And one stick. Brilliant. We have spade. Nice. So we're going to pick that up. Pick up this uh, right click on a bot to give it a new tool. So, yeah, again, we've, we've still got these bots here. And we'll give that. And we'll make another crude spade for us. Yeah, why not? There's a stone. And there's a stick right nearby. Really easy. There we go. And this one's for us. Amazing. You made it. We got two spades. Pick up the crude spade, press space to blow your whistle again, and we're going to get Snork's attention. Now do exactly as I tell you. Again, we're going to record some stuff. So as you can see, our bot who cuts down trees has done such a great job that all the trees have now been felled. <laughs> so in order to, uh, to replace these trees, we're going to need to record this bot to help us. Let's program your new bot how to dig holes. Left click on empty soil to use the crude spade. So yeah, we've got the spade in hand. So the bot knows exactly what's going on. And we're going to left click on some empty soil here, let's say. I mean, that's quite close to the base. So I'm going to want to redefine this. So yeah, again, you can completely redefine the spaces that you want. So let's make it so they're going to dig holes like in here. Lovely. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oops. There we go. Maybe a little smaller. Cool. Um, nice. How do I... Oh, yes. And then click tick. Brilliant. Uh, bots operate here. Move to target. Use hell item. And then obviously we want to... Uh, oh. Bots operate... Uh, yeah. Just to target where, where dragons, corners, and edges. And then close the menu. Oh, that's... What I just did, I think I was being a little bit too quick on that. There we go, and done. Click the repeat button, yeah, add the loop, and then I'll click play. So this bot is literally going to just dig holes everywhere in this space. They're gonna, in every space, they're gonna dig a hole, which uh, can be used to plant trees, which can be really useful. Hey, you almost have your first automated industry. To make the operation more sustainable, you need to grow trees. Of course. So we, we're digging all these holes, which is great. As you can see, he's already beginning to dig all these holes. We've got the guy who chops down trees when they're fully grown. But of course, we need to actually plant the trees. So, okay. So you have your... Uh, yeah, so blow your whistle to get the bot's attention. So we click space. Left click a bot. Awesome. Now we're going to record. Find a tree seed. Which we found. Oh, I need to put my, away my spade. So we found a tree seed. Right click on an exposed hole and drop the, uh, the seed seed in. Click the repeat button. So again, this guy's going to find, or this bot is going to find the nearest tree seed in this area, which I will move to cover over exactly where the forester bot will be foresting. Awesome. And then find the nearest hole in, well, the area that the guy's going to be making holes in, which is a pretty similar area. Lovely. And he's going to drop the, the seed in there. So I'm going to click play. And that's going to make some nice trees. So we've got a, a, like an automated tree farm going on here. So one person plants them and grows them. One person chops them down. And then the next person digs holes um, and kind of uproots the stumps in order to plant more trees. So it's a... It's a lovely automated loop we've got there. So well done, we set up the foundation of a first fully automated system of forestry. It's not self-sustaining yet, but we'll get to that in a later tutorial. So yeah, of course, there are going to be some elements which aren't going to be, you know, fully sustaining. So they're, um, you know, their tools, for example, might break. So we're going to have to get in a bot that's going to replace their tools automatically. We're going to need to 
put some things in for that. And as you can see, this guy already, his spade is is being uh, been broken. So we're going to need to replace the uh, the digging. Um, so maybe I can give him my spade actually. So if I give him that, ah, there we go. See exactly that. So he's now got his tool replaced, and he can carry on working. But if it breaks and no one's there to replace it, then yeah, of course the whole system's going to break down. So uh, yeah, so tool workshop. This is the next bit of the tutorial. Let's have a look. Tools inevitably wear out. As we were just saying, as worker bots are quick to let you know, yeah, that guy was pretty angry about it. Uh, let's automate a simple workshop to manufacture crude axes. So uh, let's left click this. Click on the axe. Good. Now blow your whistle so all the bots pay attention to you. Lovely. Select the indicated bot. Lovely. And we're going to record. This time we're going to use stored parts for your first ingredient. Left click on the stick storage to take out a stick. So, yeah. So rather than them, because normally you might say, oh, would we not record it like the other bots and say, oh, well, in this area, find sticks. That's all well and good. But once the sticks in that area have run out, it, th that bot is going to really struggle to make any axes. So what we're saying now is, well, you just come to si one single place to get all your sticks and we'll have another bot eventually who picks up sticks and just starts shoving them in this container. But, you know, for this, this bot making the, the, the tools... It'd be much easier for them if they just had one location they need to go to in order to grab all of the um, all of the items. So here we go. Grab stick and then grab stone and put it in here. And as you can see, move stick, take stick, move to uh, uh, yeah, move to stick storage, take the stick, move to crude workbench, move to stone, move to yeah. So there you go. We've got the loop here. Obviously, we want that to repeat. And there we go. Oh, okay, this program means your bot will make crude axes forever. We don't want a towering stack of tools. Obviously, we don't want them to burn through every stone and stick that we've got. So, we're going to stop them from recording. And now it's time to edit the program to make it more efficient. Let's edit the program and uh, improve it with one simple trick. Select record in your tool making bot's brain. So, we're going to record again. Select until, uh, until question mark full. Select the crude uh, workbench highlighted in yellow. This will ensure the bot will only make a tool when the structure output is empty. So what's really cool about this is that in the repeat function that we have here, there's loads of different options that we can select. Uh, you know, until not tracking, until tracking, until here, until loads and loads of stuff. So we're going to use, uh, yeah, until question mark full. And the question mark in this case, we get to define. So... You know, just like in program, we get to define what the uh, variable is. And the variable in this case is the crude workbench 6. So, nice. Select repeat. Lovely. So now what's going to happen is they're um, repeating everything inside here forever. So, obviously, the, the, the main objective for them is to create a... Uh, to put all the stick and stone in here to make a crude axe uh, until it is full and they're going to be repeating that function forever. Now we click play. Lovely. Awesome. Uh, when a lumber bot tools break, how does it get a new one? Yeah, this is a problem. This is a, this is a problem that we have. I can show you a clever solution that's, uh, to that problem. Blow your whistle to alert your bots. So again, we're going to need another bot because look at these guys. Their tools are broken. The spade one's broken and the axe one's broken. So the whole loop is, is broken down. And this poor bot uh, over here trying to find the... Um, if I can select them, I might need to move the camera a bit. Oops, did I even mean to do that? Uh, ah, there we go. Yeah, this poor bot here is... Um, if I can select him. Oh. He is trying to find a nearest tree seed in this area, but he can't find any. And the reason why is because the trees aren't being cut down. And when the trees are cut down, they create logs as well as tree seeds. So this whole cycle has basically collapsed because we're not replacing the tools of these bots. So, okay, select your lumber bot. Yep, select stop to stop your uh, lumber bot's programming. Now select record. Uh... Select clear to empty the bot's brain so we can create a new, better program. Yeah. So originally, that program that we created was great. 
but it was a little bit short-sighted maybe because what we want to do is we want to basically ensure that they always have a crude axe in hand so oh i better drop this log actually whoops a daisy okay all right yeah thankfully the game has automatically cleared what's just happened so it doesn't matter so select repeat uh to do the instructions yeah now until hands full uh, until hands full. so again similar to, uh, to when we were programming the bot to create uh the axe in the first place we're repeating this until the hands are full so what we're going to do is the bot's going to come up here find the nearest crude axe in this location very small location just in the crude uh, in the uh the work space and then they're going to pick it up until their hands are full so it's basically as soon as they pick up one their hands are full awesome um chop down a tree to remind your bot how to do it so we will go and chop this tree down lovely so they know what chopping down a tree is like and then we're going to repeat looking good so far only a few more systems to automate before the industry is self-contained interesting okay so yep we've done that let's move on to robotics so we've obviously been using these bots that have been lying about um but we need to learn how to make our own and most importantly eventually we're going to need to learn how to make some bots that can help us fight the pirate bots so let's go first of all we need to build a suitable structure so we're going to need to build a bot assembly unit place the uh, blueprint so we're going to place the blueprint here close the structural blueprint menu yep yeah, there we go right click on the bot assembly unit so we're going to need uh two logs three planks so uh let's chop this log to get some planks lovely and we're going to store that in our backpack i'm going to grab one plank two plank and three and we'll whack them in there and then we need two logs so I'll grab one and the other. And once we've got that, then we've got a structure that can actually create bots, which is awesome. Okay, so let's have a look what the ingredients we need is. We need tree seed, uh, one pole, three planks, and one log. Okay, so let's grab those things. So was it one log? Let's grab that, that's easy enough. We need three planks again. So I'm going to need to get my axe out and start chopping there we go and the other one awesome right let's pick up three of these one two and three pop them down here and now we've got two poles i will store that in my backpack and well, I only need the one, don't I? So there we go. Put that in there. And we need a tree seed. Um, and we'll pop that in there. Oh, whoops. I didn't pick it up. Pop that in there. Lovely. And, hey, we learn how to create a bot. We learn how to create our own bot. Why not make more bots to automate this process? Bots making bots... Where will it all end? Yeah, an endless cycle of bots creating more and more bots. Um, exactly. So, so in order to make bots, we're going to need storage for each of these items. We're going to need storage for logs, planks, poles, and sea trees. So then we can have a bot which pulls from all of those resources and makes more bots. So there's lots of automation things to do. So let's have a look at our blueprints. Have a look at our storage. So we have a pallet. So stacks up to three pallets, uh, okay, and we have crates, and then we can put things in crates. So we're going to need a few more crates for sure. And this will keep everything tidy as well, so we have all our resources in one nice place. So let's, we need four planks and four poles. Ooh, okay, so quite intensive. Also, I've noticed that our digging uh, bot their spade has been broken so same as this bot we're gonna need to program them to uh, hold on. where's our okay drop that down there they're gonna make a little spade for us 
Hey, lovely. And we're going to give the spade to him. And they're going to make a spare spade. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, planks and poles. So, here's, well, here's one. Put that in there. And, oh, I don't need that axe. I just need this. All right, we're going to get all the planks. And so we've got a few, basically, I want to create a few crates in which we can store things into. And so eventually I'm going to get a bot which will pick up these items and put them in the crates, which then other bots can uh, use the resource in those crates to make other things. So there we go. So we just need some more poles. So we need to chop down uh, these logs into planks and then planks into poles. Oh, and we've got two poles there as well. So chop down one. Lovely. I'll put that up. Uh, put my axe away, pick up this, pick up this, pick up this, and put them in there. Oh, I might have created one too many poles. There we go. Doesn't matter. Lovely. And I'll tell you what, I will make this uh, pole storage. Ooh. Oh, no. Poles are too big to put in. Okay, so what? Tree seed. Ah, yeah, that's a good thing to store, actually. Pick that up. Put it in. Ah, so now we have our own tree seed storage. Now, poles and planks and logs are going to be too big for this. So I think we're going to have to cancel these and instead use uh, pallets, which are slightly bigger, but uh, can hold bigger items. So I will do that. And we're going to need a log, three planks, and two poles. Well, we've got one pole here. And we've got one plank here just need a l oh actually let's pick up a log whilst we're at it pick up a log plonk that in and then oh, why is this bot ah find nearest tree look at this area this area is not uh, matching oh yeah we need to stop the bot first this area is not matching what we need so we're going to change this up there we go perfect because i just saw those trees there and i thought oh that bot's not actually bot's not actually doing it so there we go uh what else do we need uh two more planks and one more pole so i will and this guy's spade is broken isn't it ah so just like the um just like the uh the axe bot which is cutting down the trees we need to program for the spade uh, bot to do the same thing so we need to find nearest crude axe or find nearest crude spade it will be move to target pick up target and then repeat until hands full so i'm going to reprogram this bot and then oh before we reprogram him, let's clear what he's got and he's going to go here so find nearest crude spade yeah and we're going to repeat until hands full lovely and then finally i need you to dig a hole lovely and we're gonna have to redefine the digging area oh that's a big digging area that they've made so we'll do it like this so it roughly matches the forestry area lovely that's right and then we've got to repeat that forever and then hit play. So, yeah, again, they're going to find a crude spade. Once they've got a crude spade in their hands, they're going to keep uh, digging holes. So, and then this bot fills... This bot creates a new spade because the spade was taken by this one because this spade broke. So, all's well that ends well. Lovely. And what's going on here, then? This is... Ah, so this one uh, hasn't got a crude axe. So what I'm thinking... Is that this guy, I'm having to manually change at the moment. I'm having to manually change the workbench's um, uh, blueprint. However, if I created a new workbench, what I could do is have one workbench creating spades and another workbench providing axes. Uh, as long as I have another bot, which I've got a few more bots lying around, so I can help do that. So, this is basically all just... Uh, some fun automation to make sure we're getting resources oh no i didn't mean to dig a hole 
so I need two logs and two sticks. So pick this one up, pick this one up, drop them in there. Lovely. Oh, auto nought must be uh, getting a lot of bit of a workout picking up all these massive logs. So uh, let's yeah. So this one will be creating axes. This one will be creating spades. So now we want to copy what this the, the basically the program that this bot has. So this bot is you know moving to the storage uh, spaces, taking out the items and then putting them in. So we're going to take this bot and we're going to say hey, watch this. We're going to go in here, pick up stone, drop that in here. We're going to go grab a stick and then drop that in there. Nice. So, oh, I need to get rid of that one. So, move stone storage, take from stone storage, move to crude workbench, add to work, add stick. Yeah. And we're going to do that until uh, question mark full. And the question mark full is this one. And then we're going to repeat that forever. And then we're going to let them go. So at the moment, it is full, because we've got an axe in here. But if I took away that axe, then there we go. They're going to be doing it. So we've got an axe and a spade now. So what I've realized, though, is that the bot that we've programmed for the spade, that's fine. Look, he's just picked up a spade. Awesome. However, the bot with the axe is programmed to pick up from the same workbench. And if that workbench hasn't got an axe on it, which it won't because it's going to have a spade, then he's going to get confused and he won't know what to do. So let's find the... Uh, that's the tree seed bot. Yeah, look. Find nearest crude axe in and then the target structure because it's a spade. Um, we need to stop. We need to record. Yeah, look. He's trying to find it in here. But it's not there. It's there instead. So we're going to edit that and then we're going to play. Perfect. So the axe bot now knows it needs to come here to pick up its axe, and spade bot now needs to go here to pick up a spade. And we've got two bots working on all of them, so make sure these workbenches never end. So it's becoming more and more efficient, but again, you've probably realised that eventually we're going to run out of stone and sticks in these storage crates. And you're, and you're right, we are going to run out of sticks and stones in here eventually, but we'll come back onto that later. Um, uh, for now, we should probably concentrate on... Um, getting a bot to make some more bots. In a similar way that we always want a spade and a, an axe available, we kind of always want a bot available as well. So let's get back onto the palette. Easily getting distracted here. There's lots of things to automate, so we've got to take things one thing at a time. So let's cut up a log to get some planks. Amazing, and I will cut this one up because we need some poles as well. Cut this up. Lovely. And then I will store my axe. Pick up these poles. One and two. Put them in here. Oh, I only need the one. Uh, I will put one of this pole just down here for now. And then grab two planks. One and two. Oh no, accidentally was right clicking. There we go. One and two. And then pallet. Hey, we've got a pallet. So in this pallet, I want to store... Uh, let's put some logs in this pallet. So we always have logs available now. So rather than having logs scattered all over the place, um, we now have our logs in one pallet. And we're going to need a bot to go around and pick up all of these logs. So I'm going to grab this one, which is not doing anything. I'm going to say, hey... I want you to pick up log in this area and then drop into the log palette, please. Thank you. And, okay, so I need to define this area. Again, this area is massive. I don't want it to be that big. Uh, there's only going to be logs roughly in around this area for constantly chopping down trees. So I'm going to say, hey, there's going to be logs in this area and I need you to pick them up, please. And we're going to repeat that forever, obviously. Lovely. Off they go. And so now... Oh, look at that. He's already adding in logs. And again, we're going to need another pallet for... Well, will we need another pallet for planks? Not... Well, we will need another pallet for sure. However, 
rather than getting a bot to go around and chop up the logs before this guy picks them up, it'd probably be better to have another pallet down here somewhere and have a bot take from the log pile to then chop and then put into the, um, like a, a plank pallet. And then once that's done, and then we have another bot chopping up planks to turn them into poles and so on and so forth. And again, also, because I've realized now we're going to run out of sticks and rocks, we need someone to pick up, start picking up sticks in this area. Because obviously sticks are falling off all these trees, but we've got no one to pick them up. So have we got any more spare bots? We do, we do, we do. So I'm going to grab this bot, uh, and I'm going to say, hey, I want you to pick up stick in this area, and pop it in the stick storage, please. Lovely. And we're going to define this area. I'm going to say, hey, that's kind of a big area. Don't want it to be that big. Awesome. So as you can see, you can be quite creative with uh, kind of the automation that you're doing here. You know, there's lots of things to automate. Lots of little bits and pieces. Now, if you have played Autonauts before, it's probably be pretty familiar to you. However, the whole tutorial process has been streamlined somewhat. You know, you've already got bots available rather than building them straight away. And the tutorial is pretty uh, comprehensive. Um, so, so yeah, at the, at the beginning, there's not going to be a huge amount of difference. But obviously, later on, as you start to encounter the pirate bots, that's when your automation skills are really going to be put to the test. So, I think the, the idea is that you need a really strong foundation to, to, to automate from. And once you've got that strong automation um, baseline, then you can start doing uh, crazy things with the pirate bots because you're going to really be pushed to your limits. So, okay, find sticks, put them in there. Awesome, cool. Let's get you to work. Um, oh, the bot here. I saw, there's loads of logs in here already. It's because the logs aren't going anywhere. The logs aren't being used for anything. So we're going to need then a, another blueprint. Uh, whoops, not that one. What am I doing? I need a pallet. However, I'm in the way. Let's move out of the way. And we will pop down a pallet here. Oh, there's a stick in the way as well. It doesn't matter. And we need logs. Well, that's easy. Boom. We've got an extra log. Uh, we're going to need three planks and two poles. So let's uh, grab my axe, chop down some of these logs. Lovely. Pick up these planks. One, two, and three. Drop them in here. And as you can see what I'm already doing, so I'm going to basically get this guy to keep picking up logs, get another bot to keep... Um, chopping up logs into planks until it's full and then eventually planks into poles so we're gonna have this whole system of just every everything we could possibly want it's gonna be great and look at the look at these guys automating themselves this is great just to sit back and, and watch your handiwork anyway i can't get too distracted uh right so let's grab my axe and we need to chop up into planks and then chop up into poles so chop up into planks and then chop up into poles. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. So pole, pole, and pole. It's going to be a lot easier when we have this fully automated, and we can just pick up poles and planks from uh, from these pallets. Nice. So the next logical step is rather than having poles, we're going to need planks. So we're going to put a plank and then define this as a plank storage space. And we've got another bot here who I can tell to... Hmm, how are we going to do this? This is where the creative thinking comes in. I need this bot to have an axe. I need them to have an axe because I need them to chop logs into planks. And they're going to need to take it from this workbench. So let's think creatively. Let's say, cool, I want you to pick up axe from target area. And I want to do that until hands are full. Then I want you to... Stow held item. 
yeah, I want them to stow hold item because you can only hold one item at a time. So I need them to put it in their backpack after they picked up the axe to then retrieve a log. Once they've got a log, I want them to drop the log here. Ah, this is a problem because I have my I have my hands full. So I tell you what, let's let's just drop everything, shall we? Yeah, that'd be easier. Now we can. So it's it's much easier if you start with your own hands empty as if you were the bot because I already had an axe in my uh, hands there, and so when I picked up one, it got a little bit confusing. So first thing you want, I want you to do, pick up from here. Awesome, and I want you to do that until your hands are full. Hmm. I think I can already see a problem in this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Then I want you to... Stow held item. I think you can probably see the problem that I'm already going to have with this. And pick up log. Pick up log, drop log. Then... Retrieve held item and then chop. Then stow held item, pick up plank, pick up plank, drop plank, drop plank. Whew. And then I want you to obviously repeat that forever. Now, I think you can probably see the issue that I'm going to have here, which is stow held item. If I stow held item, then the hands are not full. So, ooh, that's actually a good point. I need to... Oh, let's think about this logically. Yeah, I then need to retrieve the item in my hands. Then repeat. I'm not an expert at this. I will hold my hands up, but let's work. We're working through this together. So, and then we'll play. Let's let's just watch the bot and see what they do. Uh. Cool. So they picked up an axe. They stowed it. Nice. They picked up a log. They dropped the log. They dropped the log. <gasps> this is good. They've picked up. They picked up, they pop him in, pop him in, take out the axe, stow the axe, get the log. Perfect. There we go. Look at this. This is awesome. This is absolutely fantastic. So we now got a guy making planks. We've got an infinite um, infinite number of logs. Although this guy's log area, I think, is... No, no, it's big enough. Big enough. It's just because the log area is uh, uh, big. So now we need to do the same for this this log guy. It's obviously working pretty hard. So I'm gonna need another. Sorry, this plank guy is working pretty hard. So I'm gonna need another storage for poles. And as you can see, we're starting to build a bot empire here. Once we have infinite number of logs and planks and poles, then getting all that stuff's gonna be easy. And then getting tree seeds also gonna be easy enough. Uh, we just need someone to pick up tree seeds. So, have we got any spare bots around? No, I think we're running out of bots now. What's this guy doing? Nothing. Oh, okay. If you're doing nothing, then maybe you can retrieve some seeds. All right, get rid of that. Find nearest tree seed. Yep, and then drop it in here, please. And repeat that forever. Lovely. Oh, I better define... Oh, hold on, hold on. I better define the area a bit clearer. So I don't want to going here, there, and everywhere. I want it to stay in the confines of where the forestry area is actually working, rather than him going off, getting lost. So there we go, and we'll click play on that. So now we're going to have a whole bunch of seeds in here. Awesome! We're going to have a whole bunch of planks in here, a whole bunch of poles in here eventually. And look how easy it is for me now. I can just... Uh, stack up to three crates of... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, sorry. I should drop them in. There we go. What's that bot doing? Did I program that? Find the nearest tree seed, move to target, pick up target. Uh, oh. 
Oh, I took from tree seed storage instead of... I'm, a, I'm an idiot. These things can easily happen. So, yeah, what I want you to do is actually instead I want you to go here, find nearest tree seed, and then drop it into the target, and, and then add. There we go. And now I want to redefine this area. Always read the fine print when you're making these bots. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. So we need log, plank, and pole. Okay, so easy. Pick up a log. Drop that in there. Pick up a plank. One, two, and three. One, two, three. And now we need poles. So there's one lying about. And we just need one more as well. So we'll grab from here. Drop that down there. Lovely. And that means that we've also got an extra pole to use as the... Oh, whoops, it is. Use as the benchmark. So yeah, logs, planks, poles. We just need a bot to help us. This bot has nothing to do. You've snuck past. So we're going to have to do a similar thing to this bot, almost identically to this bot. So we're going to... Again, reprogram it. We're going to say, hey, I need you to... Oh, no. Do you see what's happened here? Oh, I see what's happened here. Look, no tools are being made because we've run out of stone. We don't have any stone. So we're going to need to manually, for now, we'll, we'll get a bot to do this eventually, but manually we're going to have to pick up some stone now to put in here. We knew it was going to happen. We knew it was eventually going to happen. But for now, we, we will get someone eventually to do that. But for now... Alright, okay, we're going to program this bot. We're going to say, hey, so, pick up axe. Then repeat until hands are full. Awesome. Then stow the item. Then pick up a plank. Then drop the plank. Then retrieve your item. Chop. Stow the item. Pick up. Pick up. Drop. Drop. Retrieve item. Done. Repeat forever. Lovely. Um, find nearest pole. Why has that happened? Use. Find nearest plank. What? What's going on here? Stone hole iron, move to plank storage. Yeah, cool. Take from plank storage, move, drop, retrieve. Find nearest plank in, move to... Hmm. That's an issue, isn't it? Because uh, I don't want them to find nearest plank in... Because if you find nearest plank in here and then there happens to be a plank that just happens to appear... Well, maybe it doesn't matter, actually. Hmm. Alright, I'll just set them on their merry way. Oh, they're not moving. Why? Find nearest crude axe. Ah! We've run out of stone again. So this problem has arisen yet again. This is going to be a little bit of an issue, isn't it? Unfortunately, we're having to manually pick up all these rocks. Which sucks. We don't want to have to do this. We want our bots to do this for us. And drop that in there. Lovely. Drop that in there. Also, we've got a whole bunch of these crude axes lying around. Which is not, not great, is it? So, yeah, it's not, not really conducive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab all these crude axes which are lying around and just drop them in this pile. Because really... We've actually made tons, which is a bit of a waste of resource. So I will just keep adding them to this pile. And you can see these axes are storing and balancing them very carefully, actually, on top of each other. There we go. And it's the same with a spade. You know, this got a spare spade here. We might as well use it. Seed storage is full, so we've got to load up a whole bunch of seed. That doesn't matter too much. What I'm more bothered about is, yeah, this stone storage is, is empty. 
That is a worry. So what we're going to need to do is I want to have a look at the tools. Let's have a look what we can make. Ah, pickaxe. Yeah, so this is the next step. The next step is to create a... Um, yeah, to create another workbench. And, oh, look at this. We've got easy access to logs now. So we don't have to go far. We don't have to search for them. We just go pick one up. Drop one in. Same with sticks. So one log. Oh, we might as well grab log from here if it's not being used. Put that in there. And then grab two sticks. One and two. And we're going to need the same thing. We're going to need a bot to create pickaxes. And then we're going to need another bot to go out and um, hit and collect stone. So it's all, a, it's all a big cycle. And I think this is a good place to leave it. Because you can see how this expands out now. And uh, we're making good progress through... Um, the beginning parts of Autonauts versus Pyrobots. And as I've said before, yeah, the beginning is it's relatively similar to Autonauts in terms of teaching you the basics of setting up a kind of a, an automated forestry, automated mining and things like that. So you get the basic resources. But it's uh, a little bit later on into the game, once you've got your kind of basic foundation set up, uh, a little bit later in the game, that's when the pirate bots are really going to test you and you're going to have to go out and, uh, and do battle. But I think for now, this gives... Uh, new players at least a kind of a bit of a taste into what Autonauts versus Pirate Bots is, is like especially the Autonauts kind of foundation of the game so I hope you enjoyed um, hope you enjoyed uh, playing this through with me and kind of solving some of the issues that we've come up against with these bots and as you can probably see in your own creative way there are probably lots of different ways you can do these things and you know if you play Autonauts versus Pirate Bots you too will be able to figure these things out come up with much much more efficient ways than i can so uh you yeah, know thank you very much for joining me and uh i'll catch you next time